Hey, bingo. So yeah, I'm uh, Simon Rycroft. I'll make it. I'll make it fairly quick. Um, I wasn't sure how long I'd get today, but um, yeah, just a, uh, a presentation about um, a couple of uh, sort of forms of public engagement that we've um, been uh, we've, we've had through at Phillips. So a very quick background. Um, I joined Phillips last year as a uh, intern from the Interaction Design uh, Masters at Goldsmiths College, which also has uh, quite a foundation in sociology. So. Um, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah, we're from, yeah, from the same sort of ilk, yeah, and, um, yeah, so I, I, I did, my, did my internship, and uh, we were looking at, uh, uh, at connected homes, and really uh, taking a human-centric approach, um, and, uh, and looking at developing uh, nice places for people to live, basically. Uh, so, as part of this, this, we did a lot of experiments with light and the really sort of, um, I guess, uh, uh, the, the emotive experience of light uh, and how this fits into uh, daily, uh, yearly, monthly uh, cycles of, uh, of dwelling and living uh, within spaces. So the, uh, one of the outcomes of this was, uh, this, uh, this is four photos of the same thing. It's basically a, um, a light form that uses pixelated LEDs and Arduino. Uh, and uh, Maxi MSP uh, to uh, take content from uh, the outside world and then uh, to, to map these onto something that's a, a sort of beautiful light object. Uh, so just to very quickly go through, uh, we started trying to see what would happen if we took this object and, uh, and ran it from, uh, live from a webcam. And so this was just sort of something that uh, came about through experimentation. So a, a very iterative design process. And this is uh, one of my colleagues, Roland, playing with this uh, first iteration of this, uh, this light instrument. I wonder if I can turn up the volume, let's see. There we go. So what we have here is a very um, uh, visceral, tangible sort of way to interact with light and sound uh, that we decided would be really nice to share with people. You know, not, let's not leave this in the sort of uh, and, and the sort of bunch of, of, of uh, projects for another day. Let's get this out there straight away. So we were lucky to have this opportunity to share it at the Glow Festival uh, as Aura. So um, this was a large version of this. Did, did, has anyone seen Aura? Was anyone at the Glow Festival last year? Oh, no one. Oh, yes, you saw it? So um, this is basically a large scale version of what you saw, but with some, um, some much uh, more complicated sound or uh, sound capabilities. We have um, a child playing it here. So um, yeah, this is really useful for us because it lets us really bring uh, the social and uh, or the public into our design process. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna basically play a uh, quick video documentary about it and then I'll probably leave it there because we need to move on to, to coffee and other things. Um, but yeah, we do have another, um, uh, uh, another uh, engagement called the Light Lab Quartet that was at 2015, and you can find out about that on the uh, Future of Light blog um, if, you're, if you're interested. So yeah, I'll see if the video plays. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the Light Lab Quartet. Do I need to press play? Oh, here we go. Some volume. <laughs> 